What's up guys, it's me Sean here with some math tutorial here today. And today we're going to learn how to factor using a difference of square property. Okay, so let's get started. So before we actually go into a practice problem, let's touch how to, I mean, what is difference of square, okay? So difference of square is pretty much difference Difference means subtraction, isn't it? So difference of two squared terms. So that looks like one term that is squared minus some term squared. So that's why we call this a difference of square. Difference meaning subtraction, square meaning square, like the two exponent, okay? So when you see this kind of term here, we can actually convert this into factored form right away. So that's why we call this a property. So we can convert this term into a minus b and times by a plus b in parentheses. So if you memorize this here, you'll be really uh, good on the test with this part, pretty sure. So yeah, when you see some term squared minus some other term squared, just change it into this form by using difference of square property. So now we know the concept, let's go into a practice problem, shall we? So for the practice problem, I came up with this question here. So 4x squared minus 9. So uh, first thing we have to do here is we have to know that this is a difference of square because we have a square up here too. And notice 4 can be rewritten as what? 4 is same thing as saying 2 to the square, right? And 9 is same thing as what? 9 is same thing as saying 3 to the square. So notice there's squares everywhere. So we know that we have to use difference of square at some point. And this is where we use them. So let's get started. So the first thing we have to do here is we have to convert this into a squared form that looks jump something like that okay so I'm going to change this term 4x squared into some term square okay and minus I'm going to change this term here into some term squared like that to get into this form okay so 4x squared can be rewritten as what 2 because 2 squared is 4 and x because x squared is x squared so 2x squared can be replaced as this one how about 9 what can we replace 9 with we can replace 9 with 3 squared so notice this form right here looks just like this guy so which means what we can define that a is equal to 2x and b is equal to 3. You don't count this negative sign on for the 3 because the parenthesis is there. So anyway, so we have a equals 2x, b equals 3, which means we can just use this form here. So we have second step, just use the form. So we have 2x minus 3 because that is a minus b, right? And then what else do we have? We have a plus b, right? So we're going to have another term that is multiplied, but this time it's going to be 2x plus 3. So this right here becomes our answer for difference of square property, okay? So that's how you use difference of square for uh, this problem. You can pretty much use this for with any kind of problem that you see squares everywhere. So go ahead and try this out. And if you guys have any other questions, please leave questions on the comment below. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks.